Hey guys, the Lums here with the Hauntcast episode 8. And we have Nachos and Caden with me because it is the anniversary of our meet a year ago now, which, as we like to say, is the worst decision we've ever made. So without further ado, let, let us begin. And I have with me Nachos, as always, and we also have Caden. So, lovely. What's up? Yeah, you uh, you saying that this is the worst day of my life is probably an understatement. <laughs> an understatement? Oh, no. I probably lived to regret this for the rest of my life. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll keep dragging you about back here year after year. Hang on a second, I'm trying to get rid of these shivers. Well. So How cold like, is it where you are? Uh, cold. <laughs> cold. cold. So I, need, like, I need to open up my door and like turn the heater on or something. So, it's about 20 degrees, so I'm kind of freaking <laughs> As I said, the topic for today, well, I told them. But as I said, the uh, the topic for today is the worst thing that's ever happened to us. At least for now, we're not going to be there for very long. Let's be honest. But okay, well, I have my story to sh my story to tell. <clears throat> complete silence. Um. Well, we're just waiting for you. Oh, okay. Sorry. Well, for you. so I think it was, it was on May, May 2016. I got into a car with my cousin who had started driving and my aunt who was, or aunt or whatever, who was monitoring her. And I don't know why exactly I was there. I was like eight or something. I can't, I can't really remember what 20, 2016. I would, yeah, I would have been, would have been seven or eight. And well, we got into the car, and we were on the we were on the highway, and we ended we ended up getting into a crash, and it cut off my uh, my cousin's leg. Oh shit! Yeah, and I I honestly don't even know. We might not even share this, but you know, I I just really. Really feel I felt really bad for a long time. Like I'm glad I didn't I didn't get hurt like that. Yeah, yeah you should be. That's that's just that just sucks, bro. Good old cousin Eileen. At least it fit her personality. Short tempered. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I I've been playing that joke for a, a few days. <laughs> Short temper. Oh, Eileen. Eileen. <laughs> I can't. I can't believe I told that without cracking. Wait. So was that like? Was that true? No, not at all. No, not even close. I've never oh. been. I've never been in the car with somebody driving, but besides an adult, like anybody older. I mean, anybody older than thirty. I just, I just thought of that while on the toilet, and I was like, "Yeah, I gotta share this." Oh my god! <laughs> just while on the, just taking a shit. That's where I do most of my joke making. Okay. Poop jokes. Yeah, I guess so. Everything I've ever said. Jokes. Everything I've ever said is a poop joke. <laughs> okay, but but really though, I uh, I mean obviously there's been like a ton of things that I've done that I regret. A lot of stuff when I was little. Like one time, well technically, one of my cousins was driving a golf cart and he went too fast, so I fell off and just <laughs> face planted into the ground. You didn't get run over by the wheels? No, because I was on the bat. Oh, good. But I, then, I, then I tried to blame my brother for it, which it <laughs> obviously wasn't him. I just like to blame him for things, which I understand now. That's what my sister does. 
Back when you're a kid, it's fun to do that type of dumb shit. Cause you can usually get away with it. Is the thing. Cause you think, cause like you think it's funny too. Uh huh. You and don't now understand like, how it affects them, like how. And, it now, them. and now, and now I'm like, yeah, I understand everything that he ever said and did, except the for the part on yourself as a child. What? The more, you look back, the more you look back on yourself as a child, the more you start to realize how much of a sadist you really were. <laughs> <laughs> that is, <laughs> that is true. You know, like even even myself a year ago, I'm like, ugh. What an awful human being. Bruh. That's, I, I look at myself every day and I'm like, oh wow, what an awful human being. No, you're not an awful human being. You may have been two years ago, but... Oh my god. You're Hafumi Yamada, the terrible <laughs> rapper. <laughs> you ain't no ultimate fanfic creator. You were the last place rapper. Bruh. It, it was surprisingly like the rhythm was good. I uh, no, I just couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. Dude, I'm I'm surprised about how well produced it was. <laughs> well, I mean, you've always had a good musical talent, probably, but <laughs> at least you do now. So he has the had back then. I was somewhere. I was pretty amateur. I was I was just kind of doing whatever I wanted whenever I wanted. But now I just I kind of have and now you're more mature more knowledge and you can understand it a lot better. Yeah, I I know which sounds are go with what and shit like that. I'm currently and I think I actually have pitch. I think I've said this before. I'm not going to delve too deep into that. But basically, I watched a YouTube video and I guessed all the pitches without a reference. So. <laughs> I am currently having a nice thing of wine. Don't mind me. I mean, you're still better than me at singing, so I mean, I mean, you've heard me before. <laughs> yeah. So, Kaden, what is, or not? Which one of you wants to share first? Their bad story. Yeah, because honestly, I. Can't really think of one. Well, I do have stuff that's happened, but to other people. Like oh, you know, I can I can say something that's happened to another person. Well, I I remember I probably told you this before, but my uh, my brother got ran over on my parents' wedding day. Oh shit! Like how bad? Not that bad at all, actually. Just like just like a bump or whatever. No, he got he got ran over with my aunt, my my aunt, and she got a broken arm, and he got a few scratches. And then, like when he was like nineteen, like maybe well maybe a couple of years ago, it might have been like seventeen or eighteen. But he he got into a he got into a car wreck. He he flipped several times to a strawberry field. His car was completely destroyed, and he got out there with a he got out of there with a couple of scratches. What the fuck? Wow. Your brother is like the luckiest dude. He, I mean, like the worst things that's ever happened to him involve a car, and he barely makes it out of there with anything on him. Like he's just he's just fine. So I don't know. All he's got I mean, on I mean, is a first, couple scratches in his clothes. I mean the first one, you know, really wasn't that bad. Like he got he got hit by a car. Which I mean sounds bad, but it could be a lot worse. Like it wasn't terribly yeah. fast or anything. But then he yeah, literally, like, like his car was completely just ruined. I don't know how. Like but, total, like about to blow up. Like like half of it was smashed completely. God damn! He wrecked like Lightning McQueen. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I mean, it was it was right after he broke up with his girlfriend, so that probably maybe had something to do with him. Might have been like distracted about it, which I don't blame him. I mean, she was really nice, and to be honest, he wasn't just because he has that attitude, you know. But the typical teenager attitude, you know, like you know me. <laughs> no, you're a very nice teenager. Really. Yes, very, 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 very. Well, shit. I, I don't necessarily say you're in like the top ninety percent, because like you're very respectful nice. to everybody. I mean, respectful, but 
respectable as well. Well, I try to be. I mean, I don't. I don't try to be an asshole. Yeah, exactly. Which is the point. I mean, I I, pl- I play jokes. It's just my humor, but I, like I don't try and actually be like mean. Well, yeah, just don't be an ass. Yeah, yeah don't. I, don't, be an I ass won't like like make fun good. of people. Well, maybe pick on them a little bit, but you know, like it's just like, to me. He's in it's fine, but it's just like don't go out there saying fucking. Like, yeah, I won't say. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, like everything you do, it, it, everything you've ever done has sucked, like bro. Everything just, you do is trash. Trash. When you look, I wouldn't appreciate like, someone saying that shit to me. So like, it's like, why would you? Yeah, it's like, why would you do it to other people? You don't want it being done. To you. you don't yeah. ditch what you can't take. Pretty much. And so now that I'm done I sharing, have problems with that sometimes still with my, with, especially with my little brother because I talk to him so much. <laughs> yeah, your little brother's kind of hard to get along with, that's for sure. But hmm. a little bit sometimes. We still but, manage though. But now that I'm done talking, anybody is like, do you guys got something? Um, I got something that involves my little brother. Actually, it's just um, about it's yeah, it's about him. Uh, okay. we, when we were little, like I remember when this was happened. It, like was when it, we was were it, little. Hold on, Nachos, was it, was it the first time he played Fortnite? No. Fortnite didn't exist back then. That's unfortunate. As a matter of fact, we were so young that we didn't have devices or the internet. Wow, what? I, I, I didn't even know that you could have screens that was not like a box television until I was eight. I, di- I didn't see that type of shit until I was like six. So. <laughs> see... I had a TV. I got a cheap RCA TV. I, I had like a box TV, and that was it. For eight years of my life, I wasn't even allowed to go play outside because my brother had gotten hit by that car. So she didn't want me roaming around in the streets. And the time she did, in roughly like October... Of 2016 or 2017. That more or less changed my life, you know? Like, I don't know where I'd be right now if I didn't meet some of those people. Dead. <laughs> like, I wouldn't have half of my friends, probably. You wouldn't have half your fo- He wouldn't have half your face, either. <laughs> I would, I would, what, well, I would just be a halfless man. <laughs> <laughs> or sorry, halfless potato, halfless, Half- ha- halfless hopeless potato, potato. <laughs> potato thumb, just a mashed potato, just mashed potatoes all over a fucking just a, a thumb. I don't even like know. A cut off thumb. <laughs> <laughs> Who stole my big toe? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> nah, but like. Um, we, like, okay, so we were in the, um, uh, my grandma's backyard, we had this kiddie pool, um, but, like, aired up. It was one of those air up ones, like, those cheap Walmart ones. Yeah. <laughs> Not those, uh, we didn't have fancy shit. We just had, like, um, good enough shit, so. Well, I, well, for me, I had my, uh, I had my granny's pool, like, she had a pool. And then we took her pool. We had it for a summer. And then the lot. Actually, that's a really good. That's a really good story. I'll tell after that. Okay, you go. All right. Not just... Well, like we were swimming around in this pool, and it was summer. Obviously, we wouldn't do this shit like in the fall or some shit. Just some random off season. But no. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was like dead of summer. Like I don't know, June or some shit. Maybe July, August, but <clears throat> um, we were just chilling in the pool. We had this uh, like this little tykes or whatever kid table, like a kid um, like park bench looking table, <laughs> yeah, park table. Mm-hmm. You know, those ones with like the long ass seat attached. Oh yeah, talking like a picnic table. Yeah, picnic table. Yeah. Couldn't think of what the fuck it was. Yeah, I have one in my room at one point. Actually, I still do <laughs> it over there. Right? Yeah, it's 
had a cross for me. A little okay. tice one? No, I have like an actual picnic table in my room. Oh, is it nice? Yeah, it's it's like a big wooden one my dad gave me because like his company gave it to him for whatever reason. Well, that's nice. <laughs> like Pepperidge, Pepperidge Farm for some reason gave him a picnic table. I don't know why. Well, all right. So, or maybe you no. Know, I don't think they gave it to him. I think somebody just somebody gave it to him. Like, he gets a ton of weird stuff. Like he gets a ton of free food. And then just, like, people go and buy him stuff from, like, military places if he needs it. And then he just, they just, sometimes he gets random stuff He's got stuff connections. Like I mean, he knows so many people. So, I mean, basically, most of our food comes from people buying it for him. Well, they he gives them the money, and then they go buy it. Or he just gets free stuff because of his business, or just, like, hit, hit, I mean, he owns, like, an entire, he owns, like, half the bread route. In North Carolina, so he just has a ton of bread. Like he does Fort wow. Bragg and one like not Lillington, Sanford, Fort Bragg, Fayetteville, all of those places. That's awesome, dude. He 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 does a like a, at least a, a he does a good chunk. That's for sure. He owns North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> sure, he own, he owns the grain of North Carolina. He owns farm. I mean, I mean, last week he made he uh, sold fourteen thousand dollars of bread. Wow! Wow! And my mom makes that much, maybe eight months, because <laughs> <laughs> she's a teacher, and teachers are just eh, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate how little they get paid and how much they have to fucking deal with. Like, I mean, some some teachers are actually just assholes, but like, I'm sure your mom isn't. <laughs> Obviously not. I did have one. The only bad teacher I've ever had, the only reason she was so mean is because she's just absolutely miserable in her job. I don't blame her either. Like, once we got once we got into a COVID, like, virtual, she was actually very happy. I think she just doesn't like going to work, which is understandable. I mean, if you think about it, you could almost justify why these teachers are so fucking... Such fucking dicks. Well, sometimes you can. Sometimes you can't. Yeah, I had I had a, like a nice teacher with a really short temper one time. Just like my cousin Eileen. <laughs> <laughs> she had all she had all of her limbs, by the way. <laughs> Just like my cousin Eileen before May of twenty seventeen. Bruh. <sighs> Wait, what the fuck? Oh yeah, we're still telling my story. <laughs> yeah, sorry, we uh, we got a little bit off topic. Well, that's kind of what a podcast is. But anyway, yeah. so yeah, um, we were out in out in my grandma's backyard in the middle of the summer in his kiddie pool. I was like probably four or five, some shit. My little brother was there. He was probably like two or three. Now, now, if he if he was like two or three, I probably would have been five or six then. Um, yeah. So I was around that age. He was around that age, and he was like he got out of the pool to like run over to my grandma because she was sitting by the like the she was sitting on the like little tyke's picnic table, and he he like ran over, slipped on some water, like he ran over to get get like give her a hug. And then he slipped and bashed his face hard on that picnic table and jammed his teeth, like, up into his fucking mouth. Mm. He started fucking scream crying. That is, that my is grandma my... was like, oh, poor baby, what's wrong? And then she looked and almost threw up. That is my worst nightmare. I, I'm very sensitive about my teeth. They've always been weird and jacked up. And I just, I, I would lose my absolute mind if something bad happened to him. God, I've always been so sensitive about face injuries. It's like, oh my God. That's why I don't play Ugh. any sports. Especially not after I got, got like, uh, my coach, my soccer coach kicked the ball. And it r- landed directly on my mouth and nose. I, I, like, I, my friends told me I did, like, that anime thing where I just, I get hit by something and then c- fall backwards like a slow motion thing or whatever. 
Wait, you've gotten knocked out from balls hitting your head? No, I didn't get knocked out, but it, it was real bad. And one time I thought I chipped my tooth on a soccer ball just by throwing it. Obviously, that doesn't make sense, but I felt like I did. And it's probably it, just because you knocked it real good. No, it felt yeah. like it felt like a part of it was missing, and now it's back. It, I don't know. It was weird. Actually, I went to I went to the dentist the other day, and turns out, yeah, I'm going to have to get rid of a couple of my wisdom teeth, obviously, because like two of them, like the bottom two, are sideways, as some people just are. But then one of my twelve year molars on one, like one of them, one out of the four. Is also sideways, bruh. So like, I, that's why it never grew in, which would make sense. But so yeah, now I'm gonna have to get deal with that too later on. I'm gonna get braces sometime this year. And to see some llama hound. Oh yeah, I was I was talking to my dentist and my mom about this. So, like, that's gonna make for a good video. Yeah, hound dogs. And see the uh, the annual video of him coming from the Anastasia. This guy makes me video. Yeah, I'm gonna. Bruh. I'm gonna. He's gonna be like I'm, talking. You're gonna be talking like some fucking. I'm gonna accidentally some, like, weird reveal Disney some character. of my darkest secrets about what I do on my own time. I oh God! Be, I have an entire long. YouTube channel that I've been doing with this 46 year old man for the past year. 46 year old man. <laughs> Yeah, Fuck you. Take, a, take away 30 years. <laughs> Actually, I will be 16 in a month. Oh, so you're, so you're only 15? Yeah. Okay, yeah, right. Okay, cool. But almost 16. So 31 years, even better. You're even more of a midget than I thought. Bruh. It's 16.85. Or 15.85. Fifteen point eight five. Okay, but, 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 but stuff. Um, <sighs> I'm waiting for the owie. Where is the Where is the owie Asahina at? What you say about me? What you say about me? There we go. <laughs> oh. Okay, but so Maya, so in the summer of 2020, Maya. we got we got my like my granny gave us our pool. So so what we did is that we ha we had a team set it up for us, and then my dad did everything else. So we actually got two sheds along with it that he put in the different places like they were already built. So he just like had help and everything getting them to the backyard. And then he spent most of the summer building a deck around the like the actual the swimming pool. So he did all that work. He made he did so much stuff. We did everything. We we um we had a guy we had a guy come do our, our well actually no at first we had an electric company come do our thing, but we actually refused and we got one of our friends to do it for us. He's passed away now. And, well, not our friends, but, like, my uh, one of my dad's, my dad's brother's friends. And he came and did everything for us. He was really good. And, uh, so he, he did all the electricity to, like, the sheds and everything. So we did all this work, all this work. And then, in October, that electric company that we refused... They they filed us like for some kind of law like we're violating the law because apparently because we're on a corner lot for a house I I probably have told this story to you or like I maybe even on a podcast before but we were on a corner lot for a house so it was so apparently our backyard was too close to the road which we no regular working human would know about that rule and the construction company that built everything actually no we built our own fence like 
me, not me, well, my family, my dad, my uncle, my great-grandpa, they all helped build, build our fence. Like, we, they did that. They built a fence and they built a porch for us. So basically, basically, so apparently we, none of us knew about this law, but apparently it was in place. And our swimming pool and one of our sheds was also violating that law, apparently. It's not like any of our neighbors cared. It's been like that for so long. Some of our neighbors even came and partied at it. Like everybody was just fine with it. Nobody was against it. It's not like we were doing anything wrong. But this salty electric company decided it would be a good idea to send us send us to court, basically. They sent my parents to court over our backyard. And, as you may expect, we lost that court appeal. And we had to get our fence moved back 20 feet. We lost the area of our yard where our dead dog was buried. Our old porch swing. And we also had to get rid of one of the sheds and the pool. So we lost everything and more that we had made that summer just because this electric company decided to file us for a lawsuit that none of us no working human should know exists that's fucking stupid we lost everything like we still we i don't even know if we own that piece of land anymore like our our the grave site of our one of our dogs that has passed away like that got mauled to death that one it's it's like he's buried there but now he's not fenced in he's not protected our our swing is not protected any like we lost a good chunk of our yard and and ever since then my dad has been just locked up in his garage and he hasn't done anything. He doesn't really do anything anymore. He hasn't been outside. He just stays there all the time. He doesn't really do anything with us anymore. And it's, and it's just like... I mean, they ruined everything for us. That sucks, man. Yeah. Can't say I completely relate, but... It definitely sounds like a shit situation. Mm-hmm. And it was from October of 2020 to December of 2020. And he still stays in the garage? Yeah, he's it's been like that for over a year now. Like he he got a TV in the garage and he's just he just stands out there all the time now. So, Caden. Do you have anything that you could share with us? The longer you take to speak, the more anime girl noises Notches is going to make. <laughs> yep. I can go on and on about injuries that I've done to myself. Or that have happened to me. But I don't think there's anything that's worse and as funny as this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, <laughs> All right, then. This is already interesting. I don't think I've ever laughed this hard at someone's injury than oh. what happened to my mother around. Oh. Uh, um. Yes, this happened to my mother. Right, so it was around like 2018 or 2019. I can't quite exactly remember where. She, she used to go on frequent walk. And oh, okay. she would just walk around the neighborhood, walk around the block. And she just, you know, go in these little circles and she'd walk around the town for a few hours. It was just a way for her to relax and clear her head. Mm-hmm. So as she's going on one of her walks, we're sitting at home for a while, waiting for her to come back. And we get a phone call saying, you know, can you come pick me up and take me to the hospital? I'm like, what, what the hell did you do? And so we go over there. She's laying on the ground and we're like, what the hell happened? And she's like... I, I think I broke my ankle, and we're like, how did you do that? It's like, I looked at a dog. How? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? What? Looking at a dog caused her to break her ankle. <laughs> and so we take her to the hospital, and after she gets all this stuff done, right, so she literally has to get operated on her ankle. And it turns Look out, that she, bad. Didn't, she, she didn't break her ankle. She shattered it. Oh my she god! Started, she what? shattered her ankle. 
And I'm talking torn ligaments and shit. What like, one of the fuck? worst injuries. <laughs> Dude! So, apparently what happened is she got distracted while walking. And she got to looking at this dog. It was doing tricks, flips, and just turning around, being cute and shit. And she got distracted by this damn dog. And she stepped wrong <laughs> on a curb and freaking shattered her ankle. Oh, God. Somebody other made that dog wrong. Oh, I can, wrong. I can talk about an injury. I sprained my ankle. Uh, well, I could also talk about another injury. I also broke my nose. I, I don't think I've ever heard of an, any injury that was just more ridiculous than that. That was pretty ridiculous. <laughs> but mine's kind of like my two are pretty ridiculous too. You, hey, um, Nachos, remember how I talked about William last time? Yeah, William. Yeah, quote unquote. Well, I could probably think of a few things he's done. Because he was just, I don't know how. He did. I don't know how he's living. I don't. I don't think he's still alive. He got hurt way too much to still be alive. Bruh, just one of those kids that just always is getting hurt. Yeah, like him. Him and Tio, they always fought. Sounds about right. Every every almost, uh, most days they would end up getting into a huge fight. Come out the next morning and be like, "Hey, dude! Hey, dude! You want to go play some like hide and seek or something?" It's like, I mean, a fight never, ever lasted more than a day. There was never a grudge to be held. It's me and my brother, bro. Yeah, I mean, I just don't feel like holding grudges is necessary. It's just taking away from time you could be spending with one another and you're just trying to exert more energy to hate them than to be like hey dude you wanna go do something yeah yeah basically but I, I talked about how a ton of injuries he had last time obviously he's just randomly gotten attacked by wasps he's gotten hit in the head by a frisbee he almost chopped his arm off with a machete he's gotten bit up by fire ants while under, under a trailer he's Got he's gotten his thumb smashed in the car door several times, like his 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 th his thumb his thumbnail was black on many 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 occasions. I just don't know. I don't I don't know how he's not like just a Seinfeld parody. I don't get it. Whatever. <laughs> Seinfeld, <laughs> bruh. Well, which one do you, which story do you all want to hear? Um, or unless somebody else wants to go first, like nose or ankle? Nose. Okay, so it was when I was um, it was when I was uh, I think maybe s like six, seven, eight, something like that. No, I was like probably. Six, yeah. I was so I was probably six, and I was at my my aunt and uncle's house or whatever. Well, at my great aunt and great uncle or grandma. I don't even know. I don't even know what the fuck those people are. But they're but they're family. <laughs> but. Yeah, I was at their house, and there was like a pep rally or whatever for uh for the school that was going on that street. There was like there was, it was like a parade or something, and there were floats or whatever. And I was I was off like I was on the porch, like watching that watching them go by, like I, I was getting close to the edge of the. Uh, I was getting pretty close to the edge of the porch, and I didn't notice. And then all of a sudden, I slip, like I fall off, and I fall face first into the sidewalk below. Uh. Yeah, I I broke my I fucking broke my nose pretty good, and I was like mm. scream crying. There was blood everywhere. My nose was like, it, it, it looked it looked simultaneously white and purple at the same time. 
That sounds awful. Yeah, it was not good. It was broke good. It was swollen up good. Oh my lord! And and there was nothing they could do about it. They like they didn't reset it or nothing. Ugh. Like it wasn't broken terribly. Like it wasn't shattered. It didn't really need to be reset. It was like like it kind of just looked at it, poked at it a little bit, and it, and they said like, well, basically just just let it heal. Don't touch it too much. Like there's no there's not really a point in putting a cast on it. Or yeah. yeah. You know, just, never, just let it heal. I've never been one to get like bad injuries because I'm a very safe kid, honestly. But there's just stuff that kind of happens to me. Like sometimes my arm will dislocate for a little bit and then go back in place, and then sometimes my calf will feel like there's like basically the only way I can describe it. It's like a little man would be knifing his way inside of my leg for a good twenty seconds. Okay, like a so, Charlie horse or what? No, it's just like it's like I'm be I'm, I would be like stretching on my bed, and it's just oh well there goes like something stabbing me for a good thir- twenty to thirty seconds. It's just well, that's probably a Charlie horse. Is it in your calf? Yes. Well, that's probably it then. Uh-huh. I get char I get like if it's if it's some kind of muscle cramp, I definitely get a shit ton of those. Yeah, I should probably eat, I should probably more. get more like I should probably eat more bananas or something. Get more potassium. Bananas. Yeah, those help with uh, Charlie horses. Hmm. Other potassium. muscle cramps. Just potassium. I don't it's, know. Uh, I honestly couldn't tell you what potassium. It's radio. What potassium? It's radio. It's a radioactive uh, element. Yeah, but you would need like millions upon millions of bananas to kill you. Yeah. Like one banana is gonna be fine. Like your daily, like your your daily value for potassium is. Like pretty low, and most of the time you don't really find it in super high amounts in food, unless you're eating like cooked spinach or something. Then it's a little higher, but it's like it's not. It's still not a, nearly enough to kill you. Like it's like you like your body, like it does well with certain amounts of potassium. So yeah, the only thing I can think of that does like anything is calcium. Obviously, that's bones. It's very yeah yeah. yeah drink plenty of milk. Eat like almonds. Milk. Shit like that. Got milk. Got milk. Got milk. Got milk. An, a, one really good thing for cast like calcium is a uh, cream of wheat. Like it has a, a lot of iron and calcium. Yeah. Like if you like cream of wheat, then it's a very good like um, food to implement in your diet. Just don't eat too much of it because obviously. It's kind of carb heavy. Cream of wheat sounds like something you, you would just like hammer bread, and there you there you go. <laughs> no. Bread soup. Bread soup. No, no. <laughs> it's like Bl- this uh, blended bread. It's almost like grits, except except most people eat it sweet. I think. It's like grits but with wheat, and it's sweet instead of savory. Sweet wheat. Hot. Wet. It is, I like wheat. it. It's good. Sweet. They also have, there's another brand that's that's the same shit, but cocoa flavored. It's called Cocoa Wheats. Cocoa Wheats. That is some cereal. <laughs> I'm still hanging on to the uh, Cosmiline chip. Bruh. That was that was a that was a good one. That is a good one. I almost I almost felt sad while telling it, even though it never happened. Bruh, it's because because you told it well. I don't I I didn't think that was possible, but it, it did. Well, maybe you're just good at being an actor. <laughs> I went I went and fooled myself into thinking I saw a ghost girl just to fool my my friend William. Bruh. Maybe you're just a really good actor then. You hear that, Chris Pratt? I'm coming for your position. <laughs> He's coming I'm, for the I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get to be Mario now. I can't imagine like seeing your name instead of 
<laughs> Chris Pratt Chris for Mario. Pratt. Just see it. Just see in the upside down thumb looking ass picture is the fucking thing that is the fucking picture they put on TV for the <laughs> the trailer. Just, just key sabotages the Vo- entire thing. Wyatt, voice of Mario. You like you should have seen some of the news right. articles they were writing about though. Because I was looking at some of the news articles and like not even the news was taken as serious anymore. It was just like this is legit on a news article that. It, it showed that picture with like uh, Chris Pratt and the Mario thing under him, and it said, "This will never not be funny." I'm like, I'm glad the news. I'm glad the news is taking this seriously. <laughs> you know, just to, just imagine my face on Chris Pratt's body trying to tame the Jurassic Park Velociraptors like blue. Bro, I mean your face is already on TV. You're in Toy Story. <laughs> Sid. I forgot about Sid. I don't know how Sid the science kid. Bill, Sid the science guy. What the fuck? I don't Sid know. Sid and I the science fly? I don't even know. That was just retarded. Oh wow, nice silence. <laughs> I was just thinking thumb nigh my cousin's eye lean. Eileen. I don't know. I sit. I really can't remember. I don't know. Caden's been very silent. No, though that is him usually. Yeah. Like on the uh, the scrapped episode four that we talked about, he barely talked, didn't he? Well, me and, when me and Caden are in call, like me and him both talk pretty like evenly. I mean, I might talk a little more because I just I just kind of talk a lot. Yeah, I've trained you. I'm more of a listener than a talker. That yeah, if I'm in a big call, then that's me. For some reason, it's almost like Caden's accent's been toned down. I don't know why. It is dis- it disturbs me. Maybe I just remember it being extra if I don't remember. Well, it's not really terribly strong. I mean, it's not like, hey, what the fuck, shit? My name's Titan. <laughs> I don't even know what that is anymore. <laughs> that ain't me. That ain't me. Bro, he he's, doesn't have such a thick accent that, he's, that he says cows with, that he says cow with like eight O's. Kyo. Kyle. No, you say it with uh, eight O's and five L's. Kyle. 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 Look at them Kyles. Look at them Kyles. Look at them Kyles. Look at them Kyles. There are some words that I struggle with to speak normally. Normally. They are ducks. I can't say cat. Cat. Without that extra vowel. Cat. 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 Now you're just saying cat. Cat. I can't say three little words without that extra syllable for some reason. You've been trained. You've been trained to be Southern. Yeah. That is, that is technically. I just want to, I just want, I want to move to Ireland to get an Irish, Irish girlfriend and an Irish accent. That's what I want. That'd be so awesome. I become the modern Jacksepticeye. Jacksepticeye thumb. Stop. Wait, Why no, that, that makes more sense because it's an eye and then it's a thumb. I don't know. I don't know how. Llama septic thumb. Llama septic thumb. Oh my god, he's a man. What is happening? He's a man. He's a man. Oh my god, it's my McGrath. I forgot my McGrathus. She's a woman. Dude, have you seen that video of like Bob and Tom or whatever? What is that? No, hold up. I need to figure out what like, happened. It's called uh it's called Yeah Toast. That's great, but I need to understand. What is Yeah happening? Toast? What am I yeah saying? Toast! No, hold up. Yeah I need, Toast! I need, no, go back. Go go back. No, no, I need to see what's going on with Raven. That's so Raven, Raven's home. Like, what's happening? I need what the understand. fuck are you talking about? I have no idea. What are you on about? 
Sorry, I was looking at something on Disney Channel. If you come, I will come. Remember, do you guys know what the Zombies movie is? Zombie Disney Land? Channel. Disney Channel. Oh no. The high school oh, musical. Oh no, Chisney Daniel. Chisney Daniel. <laughs> You're watching Disney DX. You're watching Syphilis. Sisney. <laughs> Sifney. No, it's just Syphilis. Syphilis channel. Yeah, but well, they go over. Now, the Syphilis, Syphilis channel. channel. No, the Cephalus channel already exists, unfortunately. It's called TLC. TLC, yeah! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> <laughs> we have the same brain. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder I wonder Whoa. who intentionally thought it would be a good idea to name that channel the learning channel. It's called the learning channel. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Learning about some crazy motherfuckers who be who be huffing fucking gas. It's, I, it's, I guess, well, I guess it's I guess it's a sex education channel. Sex educations. <laughs> or what are you referring to? That guy who fucked his car in a tailpipe. Um, more or less. <laughs> Do you remember that one woman who literally drank her own piss? Mm -hmm. Dude, I remember th this woman who like. Sprayed for breeze in her mouth and like ate it. I remember. Oh, I remember. I remember, the, I, re I remember the woman, um, who ate couch cushions. Oh yeah, oh, the yeah. bitch who ate memory foam. You know, it's it's weird. It's like all the women eat weird things, and all the dudes do creepy stuff. Yeah. The one girl that ate toilet paper. Or that, or that one woman who ate the dry um, her husband's ashes. What? <laughs> yeah. She eats her husband's ashes. Oh, I remember that. I don't want to remember that, thank you. Tasting a little bit of him every day. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this must be a part of... I wouldn't be surprised if she puts him in smoothies. it <laughs> would <laughs> <laughs> be perfect. Did, did you hear brain me? matter soup. Did you hear me, Nachos? <laughs> what? What'd you say? Oh, this must be a particle from his penis today. Oh, my God. This must be an ass shred from his cock. I'm gonna suck on it. I'm Makoto. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this one down there. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna know? So you know how that accent is uh, Kyoko's voice? Oh, yeah. Makoto. How I miss you. Oh my god. Come with me, Makoto. To the afterlife. I need to Into show you what Kyoko's life. been up to. You need to see. This summer. This summer. <laughs> on on my XD. strange addiction. <laughs> <laughs> I said on Disney XD. They're pretty much the same. <laughs> pretty much the same. <laughs> Bro, am I wrong? Disney XD is like the TLC of Disney. Disney of uh, Disney is TLC. I don't know what you mean. Disney XD is like is like the T is like the TLC of Disney. Honestly, I don't even know. DLC. <laughs> DLC. Downloadable content. No, Doki Doki Literature Club. No, that's Doki Literature Club. Mm. There's there's not a, there's not two Ds. It's do just Doki. Then what happened to the other Doki? Does that mean Natsuki's not in it? Oh God! Or Is Yuri, that... Tumor Girl? No, I need Tumor Girl, just not Mount Nurse. Say Yuri better still be in it. No, all the main characters were cut for the low budget version. <laughs> the, the light version. So what? It's just like. So what? It's just diet version. So it's so it's Mario, Sonic, Shrek, and um, it's Pikachu, right? 
Diet it's Doki Diet Literature, Literature Club. Club. <laughs> Diet Doki Literature Club. Diet Diet Literature Club. I don't know what you mean. Doki Doki Literature Club Max. You mean, That's you mean. Minimum. Doki Doki Literature Club original Coke taste with a hint of vanilla. all the budget would just reduce. Doki. The now to resort to Doki 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 Literature Club. Doki Doki, Doki, Doki Doki coffee flavored. I'm just naming Coke flavors. Co- coffee just... flavored Coke. Dude, that was that's actually good. Methane flavored Coke. <laughs> oh, Shit flavored Coke. Coke. Coffee flavored Coke is actually good. I like the I like the I dark never like the sound of. It's good. It's not bad. Coffee flavor. First of all, I don't even like coffee. coffee so. It tastes good. It's actually not bad. You should like if you like coffee, you should try it. Yeah, right. I don't like coffee and I don't like Coke. No, I'm just kidding. I love <laughs> now you'd love Coke, bitch. <laughs> but which kind? Like Both. Yeah. Bro, you know that, that Coke was the first soda brand that actually got really popular in the south. Pretty much. Because it had that cocaine. Yet, yeah, it's like, of all the things to get popularized down here. It's cocaine. It was the one with large amounts of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why would I mean, it it's be? closer to Mexico, so. I mean, true. <laughs> I mean, that's where a lot of it comes from. <laughs> I mean, most of, I mean, it makes sense they're all cocaine addicts. They were all insane. Bruh. Julio. 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 Moses? Is that you? H- Holios! <laughs> Christian cereal! Yeah, those would be con- discontinued. discontinued I would eat some Holios. Holios! Holios. Holios. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 cereal, the cereal that Franklin, that fucking Franklin Roosevelt <laughs> ate when he was a kid. He's like, you become Polios. A <laughs> Polios is the only adult made cereal. Become less wicked with everybody. Find your way towards God through your stomach. <laughs> he, God lies in the rectum. Let your stomach take you to heaven. <laughs> and take me to church. So, remember when Caden was a grandfather? Wasn't that nice? Oh my god. He still is. What do do you not mean? remind me. Yeah, Caden went from 30 to... I mean, Caden went from... a. Uh, Sorry, 80 to 30 years old. And what happened to the decrease in age? Well, you're not. Well, you're. Well, yeah, you're not. A, you're not as grandpa-ish as you used to be. Yeah, he yeah, finally right. he finally became a teenager. Yeah, I'm I not as really... I'm not as fucking like outwardly country as and I used to Kate, be. Caden went from six to eighty. Like, yeah, I used to, ha- like, Kate, be obsessed with country or some shit. Yeah, I think... Uh, nachos, I miss when you were, like... I miss when you had more of a country accent than Caden did, and now you're, like... Hey, guys, I'm Nachos. I, uh, now I'm the local redneck around here at East Park. Well, Caden, you were always the Southern King, but Nachos was the close second. And, honestly... Well, I, yeah, I could steal... I could still put on a little bit of southern draw a little bit. Yeah, but nachos. If you talk to me for more than five minutes, I'll start getting the bed. You find <laughs> yeah, yeah, I haven't talked to Caden in a very long time. Yeah. I talked to Caden um like last a few weeks ago on call. Oh yeah, uh, the last time we really got a good conversation was wasn't, fucking wasn't it the night we found <laughs> Listen to the three hours of four. <laughs> three fucking hours. <laughs> it's not the most ridiculous thing. Who, who listens to three hours of shit noises, dude? Apparently, it's like, like a bath. Okay, like cut out the cut best. out the name I said, Blama. Cut out the name I said. I don't want to. I don't want to slander people.
Now, it's it like nobody, not... it's, nobody's gonna know who that is, but whatever. It's not even her real name. I know, but still. And now, it, and now we know it was a female listening to the. Episode. But it's just like. I normally wouldn't laugh at anything like that, but it was just the obscurity of it. It was, it was just, just, it was just like, like the fucking outwardly like strange. She was listening to it for a while too. Like what the she, fuck? She yeah, I just... lost a bet was the thing. It's like no, no, I don't. No, even well, she did, it. she did it again. It's like oh. she was openly doing it by herself. That's like that's like genuinely listening to ten hours of Aya. Aya, Aya, Aya. It was just so Aya. obscure and so ridiculous that it's just. You couldn't help but laugh. It was just like, what the fuck? It was just so dumb. That was the hardest I laughed in so long. It was just the sheer stupidity of it. That got me cracking up. It was just so retarded, dude. Like, I don't I don't understand. She must have been having a good time. Having a good time? Yeah, you heard me. <laughs> she, you, you see, she did a <clears throat> or whatever I said. Fart, fart, in, fart, inqu- inquiry. Fart? What is it? I mean, well, I'm not, I'm not one to kink shame, so. Yeah. Well. Okay. But that, but, but that was, uh, but like three hours is a whole, uh, is a whole new level. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like, even if you had that, even if you had that. Uh, like you wouldn't last that long. <laughs> you wouldn't have lasted that long. You never know. Some people are just real pent up. <laughs> I feel like you get bored. You just like, ah, get bored you I feel like they'll play some more world box now. Who has? Who's just there down for three hours doing something? Uh, me with Pokemon. Like I sit down for like an hour, but then I'm like, dude, I gotta get up and do something. <laughs> no, I yeah, sit. I sit sad. down for. Like uh, the all uh, every all my day. Are you just a stationary human? I am a stationary human. That is why I've gained two hundred eighty pounds in the past three months. I Wait, <laughs> what? What? Have you, have you gained that much? Let's be uh, realistic here. If I gained two hundred eighty pounds in the past three months, I would not be able to talk. My chins. Would be fifteen down, and my neck would be closed <laughs> up, and I would be purple. Okay. <laughs> I would I mean, be Yamada. So. <laughs> why are we? Why are we just do, being the same person? We we've been the same person for seven months at least. So, bruh. Okay, there's no going back now. We're stuck for the stuck next the for the next like sixty years. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my god! Just imagine like sixty one anniversary podcast. Oh lord! Oh, and in sixty years we only amass like a hundred subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> Just a hundred people watching that door shit. Hey, Shani, I went to I went to the pharmacy today. <laughs> that that would be so it. And food, every yeah. every year, I would probably tell the same stuff. Well, by by age fifty, we would be telling the same stuff every podcast. Like I ended up coming. <laughs> Just I, demented. I, I would I would tell a story about how we got I got cast into a. Uh, World War Three. That's where we've been for the past few years, and then I would just tell that every time because I would have memory loss from the PTSD. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, there goes my uh, grape juice bottle. Hey, Sunny, I went to go get some oatmeal today. You know, I just think about that, and by that time we might actually be Caden's age. Bruh. We can't be the same age. Caden never ages. He is immortal, unfortunately. He's, he's immortally a, an adult. Yeah, I'm forever in my 30s. Forever <laughs> in your 30s. That just sounds like the worst punishment possible. Forever. Pain. I mean, 30s is like like one, some of the best times. You're settled down. Like, you're still young. You're still, like, no, mostly healthy. Imagine, imagine eternally having a toddler, a house mortgage... And student debt. 
Uh, well, that's a forty-year-old. Just imagine that. If you if you have that's a toddler, you're like mid forty. If you should have like a well, depending on how slow like, you are in life, I don't like, know. You should have People like at speech. least a thirteen-year-old by the time you're forty, right? Or maybe not. Like maybe a ten-year-old. Well, my parents had kids at like twenty-two. So. Yeah, my my uh my mom had my brother at uh twenty-four with an unknown man. But... So yeah. at least your parents were young. What were your were your parents like sixty two? My dad, old. my dad had me and my dad had me around his mid forty. Oh, well, he has an older sister. So. Oh shit, my guitar. My fell dad, over. my dad, right now is almost sixty years old. Oh, my, uh, my, my, my friend, grandma is sixty something. Tio, it's like Tio, that was a, <laughs> the Tio's, thing always confused people. Tio's sisters are twenty three and thirty five years old. Oh, and he is thirteen. Damn, his parents still kicking it. Yeah, well, they got nothing else to do with their miserable lives. So, what are they like seventy? No, they're just not good people. Wow, that sucks. Well, anyways, Ooh. it's I think it's time to end all this. Bruh. So we've talked about a lot of negative things today, but realistically, this was a positive experience for all our lives. Maybe not Cadence, but me and Nacho <laughs> sure had a great time. <laughs> so, without yes, further ado, okay. without further ado, everybody, this marks one year of suffering. Bye-bye.